guys, it's Cece. Um, today is actually my second to last day of spring break. Um, I focused a lot on cleaning my room over break, but um, I looked into my closet behind me and realized I hadn't taken care of all my cosplays and wigs, and it occurred to me, hey, I could show off my wig and cosplay collection while also teaching people how to maintain and care for their wigs, cosplays, circle lenses, makeup, all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is actually going to be the start of uh, at least a three-part series on how to care for your cosplay items. Uh, so this first bit video, if you didn't guess by the title, is all about wig care and maintenance. Um, so I'm washing my wigs tonight, all of them, except for I think a few that I've recently washed but all my wigs are being washed, um, so I will show you guys how I do that, and I'll also show you all my wigs, so yeah. Normally my wigs are kept in these two plastic bins. The bottom one was from an office supply store, and the top one we just kind of had around the house. This was actually my first wig ever, and one of my favorites. Um, this is a Magnum in light blonde from Art of Wigs, and I used it for both of my Len Kagamine cosplays. This wig is from either Amazon or eBay, and I used it for my Paige cosplay. This wig is from Art of Wigs. It's the Candy Striper in Harmony, I believe, and it's a huge mess right now because I haven't worn it since last February. It was for my Cadence cosplay. I bought this wig at Daisho Con 2013. Um, it's actually one of my favorite wigs, even though it's kind of a mess right now also. This wig is also from Arda Wigs. Um, it was a Claudia in silver. It used to be in ringlets, but I brushed them out to make it look less formal. And I used this for Amaterasu and QB. This wig was from Amazon, and I used it for my Greg cosplay from Over the Garden Wall. This is my Luca Megurine wig. It's from Epic Cosplay. Um, it's a Hera in vanilla fusion pink. And it's in a braid right now, so I can't put it on my wig head. Um, but I really like this wig. Um, also, I added wefts to this one, so if you buy a Hera, um, it's not actually going to be this long. I know this wig looks super gross, um, but I just washed it so it's still super wet, so I didn't want to put it on my bed. But this is my Flame Princess wig. It is my final wig. Um, it is a Candy Striper in Phoenix from Arda Wigs. And finally, um, this wig is from Arda. It is a Buttercup in Pumpkin, and I used this wig for my Foxy cosplay. This is the wig I'm going to be demonstrating on today since, as you can see, it's really ratty and it really needs to be washed. Okay, so first thing, you want to make sure you have a clean sink because you don't want to clean your wigs in a dirty sink. That just does not make sense. Um, I fill my sink up with lukewarm water and then I take some regular old shampoo. This is the shampoo I use and I just drop some into the sink and swish it around to create a fairly nice lather. Um, then I just kind of lay my wig down gently into the soapy water and I scrub it gently with my hands to make it clean and nice. And then I let it soak for about 20 minutes. Um, you're going to want to leave it in longer if it's a longer wig than this. But then anyway, after it's done soaking, go ahead and drain the water from the sink. And then you're going to rinse your wig under lukewarm water and just squish it and get all the suds out because the soap is done, it's done its job. After that, I squeeze my wig out, starting from the top and working my way down really gently and trying not to hurt the wig. And then I lay out a regular old bath towel on the floor and I press down on my wig to dry it off a bit. Please don't rub your wig because that's just going to tangle it more and it's going to be really frustrating to untangle. After that, I lay down that towel underneath these hooks and hang up my wig to dry for about a day. I also hang up this towel underneath of it so that the wig doesn't get water all over the wall. So it is the next day and as you can see all the wigs I washed yesterday are dry. You will definitely notice, um, this happens to me, I'm not sure if it's for everybody, but when I wash my wigs they get like really nasty looking, like they look worse than before. Um, so just know that that's probably going to happen. 
When it's time for me to detangle my freshly washed wigs, I usually take my good old wig head and put it on my dress form stand or my mannequin stand. If you don't have a dress form stand or something like that, um, I bought this thingy on I think Amazon or eBay a long time ago. It's a wig clamp and you can unscrew or screw it to things and it holds up your wig head. It's held up on this peg which just sticks into the bottom of your wig head. If you are lucky, like I was with this particular wig, um, if you don't have to really detangle it, I would just throw it on your wig head and brush it out really quick and I will show you how I do that. So for wigs, you really need to have a wide tooth comb. Um, please don't use a brush on your wigs because that's really bad for them. It can pull out the fibers and stretch them out and it's not good, but a wide tooth comb will help detangle instead of pull out the fibers. Um, my wigs are all dry, as you may or may not be able to tell. Um, it's okay to brush them or comb them when they're wet, but you have to be really careful because the fibers are more fragile when they're wet, so they're more prone to stretching out. Um, but yeah, just brush it out. Um, one thing to note when you're working with long wigs, or any wig really, you want to start from the bottom and work your way up because if you start at the top and just push all the knots to the bottom, you're not going to have a fun time brushing up your wig and it's just going to be really sad. Um, but with this wig, I don't really have to do a whole lot of detangling because uh, while I was wearing it, it didn't get tangled very much because I was constantly combing it out with my fingers so that I wouldn't have to deal with detangling this little wig because it's like really super long. And now since this wig was not knotted up or anything, it's already finished. Um, it's nice and clean. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to treat it with Motions Oil Sheen Spray. It looks like this. Um, it's for hair, like actual hair. And it really helps the fibers to stay separated and not tangle while you're wearing it. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. So when you use motions, you want to make sure um, that most of the strands are covered. You want it to look like there's something on it. Um, if you look at my wig near the bottom, which you guys can't see, uh, it looks fairly wet, but you don't want it to be sopping wet because then it's just going to take forever to dry and it's going to look really gross and shiny. Um, but yeah, then after I'm done treating my long wigs with motion spray, I hang them back up in the bathroom and you let them dry for about two or three days depending on how much spray you put on it and how long the wig is. So here is my foxy wig before. I'm not sure how much you guys will be able to tell, but it's really gross and frizzy and uh, I can't run my fingers through it at all because when I wore it during my photo shoot I didn't brush it, which was a terrible decision. Um, but it looks like this before brushing. Same thing as with the Luca wig that I just did. You're going to want to kind of section it and work from the bottom up, just combing it out. If you find that you really are having a lot of difficulty, you can cut the knots out, which is like a last resort kind of thing. Um, I also use this like child's detangling conditioner spray. It's just kids detangling spray and I found that it really helps when you're detangling wigs like this. Sorry for the weird lighting, my windows are open. So everything is blue. Um, but yeah, this is the spray I was talking about. You can just use it on the section that you're detangling and it works great. But um, yeah, let's just get to detangling. I'm not sure how well you guys can tell, but just this section that I've brushed out is already so much nicer than the rest of the wig. I can run my fingers through it and it just looks a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and detangle the rest of the wig so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me because it'll probably take about... I find that for a wig of this length, this wig goes to about my chest. Um, I find that it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to detangle this. If you're detangling something like my pink wig that I had before, that can take upwards of three hours if it's really messed up. So just keep that in mind when you guys are detangling. So yeah, I'll see you when my foxy wig is nice and shiny new.
Okay, so my wig um, has been detangled completely. Not really sure if you can tell or not. I did end up using the detangling spray, so I had to let that dry because what we're going to be doing next um, is straightening it. Um, you probably won't be able to really see on my camera, but if you overbrush your wig, it gets a bit um, frizzy and it looks sort of, uh, I don't know, heat damaged, I suppose. Um, this is only for heat resistant wigs. Um, this is from Arda, so I know it's heat resistant. So I'm just going to take my flat iron and if you can see, the light is blinking, which means that it's been heated fully, I guess. I can't change the temperatures on my flat iron. So um, to avoid overheating the fibers, because yes, that can happen even with high quality wigs like Arda, um, I let it heat up and then I turn it off so it can start to cool down while I take a few passes with the flat iron to smooth out all the um, frizz and stuff like that and just to make it look a little nicer. I'm not really sure how much of a difference this is making on camera, but in real life all the fibers are really nice and smooth. And then once your flat iron gets too cool, you can turn it back on and let it heat up a bit again, and then once it gets too hot, turn it off and just do that on your whole wig. Okay, so now my wig has been fully restored to its former glory. Um, it looks really nice, all the fibers are hanging straight. So I'm going to go ahead and treat this with Motions Oil Sheen Spray like I did with my pink wig before, and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so we are back in the bathroom. As you can see, I have my pink Luca wig and my flame princess wig also drying here. Um, here's my foxy wig, it looks a lot nicer now that I've detangled it but I just hang it. I have these hooks for towels and stuff, but I don't actually use them for towels. So I just hang it here. Um, this, a wig of this length will be dry in about a day. Um, for my Luca wig, it'll probably take about three days since it's quite long. Flame Princess about two, two to three. It's very thick and curly. Um, but yeah, then I'll show you how I store my wigs after these guys are dry. Okay, so it has been quite a few days. I don't remember actually when I washed this, but um, it's Saturday, so it's been a really long time. I just haven't had time to come back and film this ending part. But um, my foxy wig is completely dry. The Motions Oil Sheen Spray is all in here and stuff. And so the last step after your wig is dry from the spray is just to really quick brush it out, which is really easy um, because the spray does a really good job, in my opinion, at keeping all the fibers separated. And now, if you can see, this wig is so much nicer. Now I will show you how I store my clean wigs. Okay, so this is the box that I keep my foxy wig in and a bunch of other wigs. Um, but with this wig, since it's not particularly long, um, I just kind of fold it in half nicely, and then I fold it in half again. And I try really hard to be gentle with it, because um, you definitely don't want to tangle it again since you just spent a bunch of time untangling it. So this is the bag that my wig actually was shipped in inside the package, and I labeled it at the top Foxy Wig. And I kept this little black hairnet thing. It's not a wig cap, it's specifically for storing your wig. Looks like that. So, ah. um, what you wanna do is you wanna take your folded wig and you want to gently put it in the little hairnet thing. And so once it's in its little hairnet, I just toss it in this bag, again being really gentle and not too rough with it, and I seal it up and then push out most of the air. There's a hole in this bag, so you can push out the air in it, and then I just toss it in my wig bin, and then put all my other wigs in there as well. But I do something different for longer wigs. This is the bag for my Luca wig. Um, I also keep the hat in here because it goes on my head and I don't want to lose it. 
Um, but I'll show you what I do with my really long wigs that I don't want to get tangled in storage. All right, so here is my clean Luca wig. As you can see, it's super, super soft, and there are no tangles in this at all. So what I'm going to do to keep it in this per, uh, condition is I'm going to braid it. Okay, and then when you get to a point where um, most of the hair is in a braid, I just take a regular old ponytail holder and tie it off. Okay, and now my Luca wig is ready for storage. For this Luca wig, it's basically the same process as my Foxy wig. Alright, and this wig is ready to go. So, plop it in, push out the air. And now these wigs are ready to be stored and worn whenever I need to wear them again. Okay, so that is how I take care of all my cosplay wigs. I hope you guys at least learned something from this video. Although I'm not the most experienced cosplayer, I really take pride in both my wigs and the costumes that I make. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is it for this video, so I will see you guys next week. Bye!